Most Wix versus WordPress comparisons only cover surface level features and skip over the stuff that actually affects your time, your budget, and your sanity. So in this video, I'll give you the behind the scenes reality of what it's like to run and grow a site on each platform based on over 10 years of building and troubleshooting both of them myself. Plus, I'll reveal the most common lie about WordPress that people tell you and why that matters way more than you think. If you're trying to figure out whether Wix or WordPress is right for you, the first thing that you need to understand is how fundamentally different these two platforms are. And no, it's not just about, you know, templates and plugins. It goes much deeper than that. Wix is like buying a fully furnished apartment. You walk in, everything's already there. The furniture, the light fixtures, even the Wi-Fi. Everything works out of the box. And if you want to get online quickly with minimal effort, it's a very appealing setup. WordPress, on the other hand, is more like, you know, buying an empty lot and building your dream house. It gives you the blueprint, but it's on you to pick the materials, hire the crew, and make it all come together. You choose your hosting, you install the software, add themes and plugins, and configure it the way that you want. That freedom is powerful, but it can also be very overwhelming. But here's what you need to realize. Wix is all in one. You pay them and they take care of hosting, security, software updates, and performance optimization. WordPress is open source, meaning the software is free, but you're in charge of how it runs. You'll need to buy hosting, themes, and plugins separately, manage updates, and troubleshoot issues yourself or hire someone to help. And that single decision, simplicity versus freedom, is going to shape everything else that we cover in this video. So coming up next, we're going to look at how these platforms actually feel to use, because it doesn't matter how powerful a tool is if you don't enjoy using it. So let's start with Wix. And before I jump in, if you do decide that you wanna try Wix at any time during this video, click my link right up here to sign up for the free plan that also includes the absolute best pricing that they offer if you do end up upgrading to a paid plan. So from the moment that you sign up, Wix walks you through every step. You choose your site type, you pick a design, and you're dropped into a visual editor where everything is drag and drop. So text, images, buttons, you just click and move them around on the screen. No code. What you see is what you get, plain and simple. And if that feels like too much, Wix's ADI, which is Artificial Design Intelligence, can build a website for you just by answering a few questions. You tell it what kind of site you want, what style you prefer, and boom, you've got a working site in minutes. Now compare that to WordPress. And by the way, if you need an absolutely killer deal on hosting or the Divi website builder that is extremely popular in WordPress and makes it more of a drag and drop designer, make sure to check the links in the description below. So WordPress has come a long way in terms of usability, but it still assumes that you're comfortable figuring things out. After installing WordPress, which by the way, you have to do through a hosting provider, you're greeted with a dashboard that looks more like a, I guess you'd say like a file manager than a design tool. To get started, you'd pick a theme. Some are free, others are paid. But here's the thing. Each theme is built differently. That means you know how you can change colors and layouts and fonts. It varies every time. Some give you a built-in editor and others require a separate theme like Divi to get that drag and drop experience. Even something as basic as creating a homepage takes more clicks than it probably should. You'll need to set up a static front page, assign it in the settings, and then start designing it with a block editor or page builder. And for someone brand new, it feels like learning a whole new language. So here's the real question. Do you wanna spend all that time learning? If you wanna get online fast, make edits visually and not worry about the technical stuff, Wix is the clear winner here. But if you like having options and a whole lot more time to set everything up, WordPress has more long-term potential. So coming up next, we'll dive into something that every website owner eventually asks, which is how much can I actually customize this thing? Because while ease of use is great, what happens when you outgrow the basics? Wix offers a surprising amount of flexibility for a drag and drop builder. You can adjust margins, add animations, rearrange elements freely, and choose from literally hundreds of templates across all different types of industries. It even lets you insert custom code and use developer tools if you wanna push things further. 
But, and this is important, everything you do happens inside of Wix's ecosystem. You can't export your site and move it elsewhere. And while the design tools are polished, they're built for simplicity. So you won't be you know, editing source code or changing your database structure anytime soon. WordPress, on the other hand, it's the opposite, right? You want to change, you know, for instance, the way your site functions at a deep level? Well, go for it. Want to install a custom theme and dive into the coding and tweak every line of CSS or HTML? You can. You can also swap out your hosting provider, export your content, migrate your entire site to another server, and more. And when it comes to design, the number of themes and plugins available is almost infinite. From minimalist blogs to complex membership sites, WordPress can handle all of it. But while that may all sound good, here's the reality of that situation. That freedom means that you're also the one responsible when something breaks. So a plugin might not work well with your theme, uh, a code change could mess up your entire layout, and suddenly you're down a rabbit hole of YouTube tutorials and forums trying to figure out exactly what happened or trying to find and pay a developer to help. With Wix, that's not really a thing. You can't break the system because it's designed to protect you from yourself. With WordPress, you can do just about anything, but if you don't know what you're doing, you can break everything. So how much control do you really want? Wix gives you, you know, a safe sandbox with strong design freedom, but it's not truly limitless. WordPress gives you the keys, but expects you to know how to drive. Now, even if you're leaning towards simplicity or even full-blown customization at this point, there's another factor that can tip the scale, which is performance. Because no matter how pretty your site is, it needs to load fast. And in the next section, we're going to see which platform really delivers when it comes to speed. A slow website doesn't just annoy your visitors, it can tank your SEO, kill your conversions, and make your brand look outdated before the page even finishes loading. So when it comes to performance, this part isn't optional, it's critical. So here's the short version. WordPress has more raw speed potential. But Wix is more consistent for those who don't want to mess with optimization. So let's you know, break it down here for a second. So Wix hosts all their sites on its own infrastructure. That means they handle the servers, updates, caching, and the entire delivery network. You don't need to think about any of that. And because it's a closed system, performance is pretty reliable across the board. Your site is going to be you know, fast enough right out of the box but fast enough doesn't always mean as fast as possible. Now, with WordPress, the speed of your site really depends almost entirely on your hosting provider and how you've configured things. You also get full access to speed optimization tools, caching plugins, lazy loading, image compression, uh, custom CDN setups, even server-side tweaks if you're on a VPS or dedicated host. That level of customization just isn't possible with Wix. Now, to be fair, most casual site owners, they just don't want to mess with server settings or caching layers. They just want a website that loads, loads quickly enough, and works. And that's where Wix really shines. It removes the guesswork. So if you're just starting out and want a site that's quick without any fuss, Wix will absolutely get the job done. But if speed and technical performance are non-negotiable for you, WordPress does have the edge if you're willing to put in a lot of work to make it perfect. And now that we've covered how your site will perform under the hood, let's talk about how these platforms are using artificial intelligence to help you build smarter, not just faster. Here's a question that you probably weren't asking five years ago. How much AI is built into this website builder? But nowadays, it's not just relevant, it's a real deciding factor. Wix was one of the first major platforms to lean into AI with their ADI builder, the Artificial Design Intelligence. The goal was to help you create a fully functional, styled website just by answering a few basic questions. You tell it your industry, your vibe, what features you need, and it pretty much generates a complete site for you, you know, text included. But that's just the start. Wix also uses AI for things like automatic image optimization, SEO suggestions, content creation, and marketing automations. Their email marketing system can actually recommend subject lines based on your past performance. Their analytics dashboard, that'll highlight insights about what's working and what isn't. Now over on the WordPress side of things, AI works a little bit differently. Because it's open source, WordPress isn't building AI into the core experience. But 
the plugin ecosystem is exploding with AI tools right now. The difference is subtle but important. Wix bakes AI directly into the platform, so it's seamless, but limited to what Wix wants to offer. WordPress, on the other hand, gives you access to an open marketplace of AI tools, many of which can be customized or even self-hosted if you want full control. So which is better? Well, if you want an AI assistant that just handles everything for you, no extra installs, no configuration, Wix is going to feel more intuitive. But if you want to go deeper and build a custom AI-powered workflow, that evolves with your site, WordPress does have more potential. But regardless of which platform you feel is better for your AI expectations, at some point, you'll probably want to sell something. So a product, a service, or maybe even a digital download. So in the next section here, let's look at how Wix and WordPress stack up when it comes to e-commerce and SEO. Wix makes it ridiculously simple to start selling online. Their built-in e-commerce tools are really tightly integrated, which means that you can manage products, accept payments, set up shipping, and even automate emails all from the same dashboard. No extra plugins, no developer needed. You also get access to Wix's app market for things like you know, drop shipping, subscriptions, and loyalty programs. There aren't as many options as what WordPress offers, but it covers the needs for most small businesses, and it does it in a way that really doesn't overwhelm you. Now, SEO, Wix used to have a bad reputation here, but that's ancient history. These days, they allow you to control all the basics, so meta tags, alt text, clean URLs, and even structured data for better Google indexing. There's also a built-in SEO checklist to guide you through best practices, which is perfect if you're just getting started as a beginner. But WordPress is definitely different in this area. So when you combine WordPress with another paid tool like you know, WooCommerce, you're getting a full-scale e-commerce engine. It supports everything from physical products to digital downloads to memberships, and it is completely just endlessly customizable. You know, you wanna run a flash sale, offer complex product bundles, or integrate with third-party logistics providers? Well, you can. But you'll probably need some money and a few plugins to combine together to make that happen. Now, with WordPress, you don't get everything in one neat package you have to piece it together yourself. And that gives you more power and flexibility, but also more moving parts to manage. So now let's talk about SEO. So WordPress is in a league of its own here, and it's one of the reasons why so many content-focused businesses still swear by it. You get full control over every detail, from permalinks to schema markup to XML sitemaps. So here's the bottom line. If you're starting a small online store and want a no-hassle experience, Wix is going to feel like a dream. It's fast, clean, and everything you need is built in. The SEO on Wix isn't as customizable as WordPress, but gets the critical things done. Now, if you're building a larger, more complex store, WordPress gives you far more control, provided you're willing and able to manage it. But there's one more thing to consider. Once your site is live, how much work does it take to keep it running smoothly? Because owning a site is one thing, but maintaining it is a whole different challenge. And that's what we're gonna be covering next. Maintenance and security is one of Wix's biggest advantage. They take care of everything for you. So security patches, software updates, backups, they all happen automatically. You don't have to install or monitor anything. You just focus on your website and your business. That's it. That peace of mind is especially valuable if you're not tech savvy or just don't wanna deal with site upkeep. And trust me, after 10 years of making sites, it becomes a hassle quick. Security is also handled behind the scenes. Because Wix is in a closed system, it tightly controls what features and apps are allowed on the platform. That alone reduces the risk of compatibility issues or plugin vulnerabilities. WordPress, as you might expect, it works a little differently. You're in control, but that also means that you're responsible. WordPress itself is secure, but the moment that you start adding plugins and third-party themes, which, by the way, you have to do in order to have a good site, things can get a little messy. Some plugins, you know, they'll get outdated and others will conflict with each other. And it's on you to make sure everything stays up to date and plays nicely together. Now there are security plugins that can help and many hosts offer built-in scanning and firewall tools, but it's on you to control it. Now, just to put this in perspective, I've been doing this stuff for about 10 years. And in that time, I've probably had five to six, you know, WordPress sites hacked and I had to hire someone to roll back changes and clean my server entirely. 
And if you're on WordPress, even with security plugins like I had, it's likely to be a hassle at some point. Now, if that sounds intimidating, don't worry. We're about to shift back to something that's a little bit more familiar, which is pricing. Because no matter how great a platform is, the cost has to make sense. Wix has a very clear pricing structure. You choose a monthly or yearly plan and everything is bundled together. Hosting, templates, security, support. For basic personal sites, the pricing starts low, but it can get higher as your site and needs grow. The upside is that it's predictable. You always know what you're paying and you're never stuck hunting down extra tools to make things work and cost more money. The downside, it adds up over time. And now let's talk about WordPress. So the WordPress software itself is free, but you'll need to buy a domain, choose a hosting plan, and probably pay for a premium theme and plugins. This is what I hate when people talk about WordPress, and it's the big lie that I mentioned in the beginning of the video. Most people say that WordPress is free, and it is technically, but all the tools that you need to make it do what you actually want, well, they could cost 10 times more than a simple Wix plan ever could. So what's the better value? Well, if you want a quick, clean solution with minimal setup and no surprise costs, Wix keeps it simple. But if you need the customization and don't mind buying things as you need them, WordPress may be a better choice. But value isn't just about cost, it's about what's right for you. So let's pull everything together in the next section here and figure out which platform truly fits your needs. Now, if you're just starting out, you want to get online quickly, and you don't want to deal with the technical side of things, Wix straight up is a better choice. It's easy, it's polished, and it lets you build a great looking site in an afternoon without ever touching a single line of code. For portfolios, local service businesses, or small online shops, Wix will get the job done without the stress. But if you're building something bigger, or you just want you know, full control over every piece of your website, WordPress is the better long-term investment. Yes, there's a learning curve, and yes, it takes more work, but that effort unlocks more freedom, more flexibility, and more room to grow in the future. But to be honest, you don't have to marry either platform. Meaning, some people start with Wix. You know, they learn the ropes, and then they graduate to WordPress once their needs outgrow the platform. And others, they try WordPress and realize that they just don't want that much responsibility, so they move to Wix or, you know, something simple like it. There's no right answer here, just the right fit for where you are right now. Now, if you still aren't sure what's really right for you, just comment below in this video and feel free to ask me. I check my comments myself, so I'm happy to recommend which one would be best for you. As always, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.